Global warming is killing insects. What happens when certain critical thresholds of insects die? Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, Mute Schimpf is with us, the food campaigner with Friends of the Earth Europe. F-O-E-Europe.org is the website. Uh, Mute's uh, Twitter handle is M-U-T-E-S-C-H-I-M. And uh, Mute, welcome to the program. I, I, I read this piece that was uh, published by uh, Andrea Germanos uh, over at uh, over in Common Reef, saying the insects save the farmers, save ourselves. Is what I'm seeing a local phenomena, or is this worldwide? And and how serious is this this vanishing? And I realize it goes way beyond the bees. This vanishing insect problem, the the death of insects all around. We're seeing it certainly here in the Pacific Northwest in the United States. Um, uh, you are the food campaigner with Friends of Earth Europe, F O E Europe dot org. Uh, what what is the true state of uh, the insect populations around the world, and why should that concern us? I mean, when we started compiling information, we were already aware that the situation is not good. But we were really shocked about the other mentioned. Insects are in decline all over the world, and the main driver for the insect loss is industrial farming and especially heavy pesticide use. And um, this also impacts the farming sector itself because without insects, a lot of our crops could not grow because they are dependent on the pollination. It's broccoli, it's almond, it's cherries. A lot of our food depends actually around three quarters of our food are depending on pollination of insects. So therefore, the sharp decline of them should make us treat nature, should make us treat them very differently than we do at the moment. So we're literally looking at a world that might be experiencing substantial losses of food um, as a consequence of the loss of insects. And we're not talking about eating the insects. We're talking about the insects being the pollinators that, that produce food. You talk about all insects. I mean, insects can also be plant pests. They can also cause harm to, to crops. Um, but mm. one third of the insects who are responsible for the pollination of the food groups are under threat. And in total, one threat of all insects on this planet are threatened by extinction. So it's important for ecosystem, it's important for our food, it's important for our nature. So we definitely should change how we do agriculture. Is this being driven exclusively by, or, or even largely by the use of chemical pesticides? Or is it also, uh, I, you know, I, I understand the other big factor is loss of habitat. Um, you know, what are, what are, how do we rank the, the threats to the insect population that, that in, in, you know, in a secondary way threatens literally our, our survival as a species? I mean, actually, the public interest and research focusing on insects is quite limited. So in some regions, for some species, we have quite some good ideas. For others, we don't even know that some species might exist. Some regions say we only know maybe one quarter of all insects that are actually <laughs> exist on this planet. Um, mm. One key driver is definitely industrial agriculture because having monoculture, using fertilizers, using pesticides, having um, very um, standardized landscapes impacts the survival, impacts the feed for, um, for insects. Of course, also yeah. loss of ecosystems and growing cities and having no roads. So limit the, eco, uh, the ecosystem for the insects themselves, also our key driver. But it's very clear that especially the use of pesticides are double threat because sometimes they harm the insects directly. And secondly, by killing the weeds that the insects normally would eat, they just don't have enough to survive or to exist. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a huge issue. Mute Schimpf. Uh, Mute, thank you so much for dropping by today. It's great speaking with you. Thank you.